is bracing for more Antifa protests. At least two journalists in Virginia were assaulted by violent counter protesters over the weekend. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. In time, hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar under attack for anti-Semitic tweets. By 2030, no more cars. By 2035, no more production of electricity. The Green New Deal go too far? No. You cannot go too far on the issue of climate change. Coal burning plants. No one's going to build another coal burning. We've got to shut the ones down we have. Sometimes American journalists talk about how bad a country is because people are lining up for food. That's a good thing. They would strip Americans of their constitutional rights. There will be people that don't turn their guns back in. What's the next step? A visit by law enforcement? To gun owners out there who say, well, a Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo. Use the power of the law to punish their opponents. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. They would shut down your free speech. I would love to be able to regulate the content of speech. The First Amendment prevents me from doing so. Religious institutions, should they lose their tax-exempt status if they oppose same-sex marriage? Yes. Well, earlier this month, Governor Andrew Cuomo signed a bill that the law legalizes abortion right to the moment of birth. The governor of Virginia, he stated he would execute a baby after birth. A plan that takes away 165 million people's private health care plans. The government is now in charge of your child's health care plans. Raise your hand if, gov if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. I'm concerned that if we don't impeach this president, he will get reelected. Because we're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the mother yeah! Get rid of the electoral college. They will pay more in taxes. Our radical Democrat opponents are driven by hatred, prejudice, and rage. They want to destroy you. They only care about their own political power. Boy, y'all want power. God, I hope you never get it.